Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we are back inside Lumber Tycoon 2 and inside Studio. Hold on, where is it? There it is. To do some more recreations. Um, you guys really like the video, and I really like making the video, so why not? Um, as you can see here, inside Lumber, I've actually set up this little measurement guide kind of thing. That way, if I place something down here, I can get some exact measurements, because uh, each one of these one units here is actually the same as a one unit here. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my measurements video um, on how things work inside lumber. Uh, what I wanted to do was try a conveyor belt. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let's drop this in here just like that. It looks like it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across. And if you look at the measurements of all these different objects, you can tell that like they're they're an exact measurement okay so what do I mean one two three four five this first unit is actually split into fifths so there's uh, yeah I, I don't know how to explain it I can tell one two three four five um, same thing on this side one two three four five okay so everything kind of goes off of a, a one-fifth except when it comes to like uh, these which we're not we're not really going to program this to do this but we could if we wanted to um, and we might get into that later who knows anyhow to get us set up over here we're gonna have to go over to model we're going to restrict this to um, let's see one divided by five is one fifth so point what is that three 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 no Okay, Google. Wow. What is one divided by five? The answer is 0 0.2. So, 0 0.2. Okay, and that should be... Oh, sorry. I just grabbed onto something. Uh, let's go ahead and add a new part into the world. Just like that. And right now, uh, to get us our scale, I'm going to set these to ones. And we need to make this... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to be eight across. So let's just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's how wide it is. And one, two, three, four. So it looks like it's four wide. We're right at two. One, two, three, four. So it's about that shape right there. And then it's also too high, like that. But we're not going to worry about the height at the moment. This is just a base to place everything on. <clears throat> so, uh, let's go ahead and anchor this part. Anchored. And we're going to add a new part, just like this. And we're going to switch to that point two. That way we can go one this direction. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Which way am I facing here? <laughs> there we go. Let's come all the way down like that. Two, three four, five. So we're going to go one this way and one this way. We're going to stretch this all the way over here like that. So that's going to be the main base. Now I want to rename this to something significant. So um, it's not just going to be part anymore. We're going to call this um, con track. All right, so short for conveyor belt. And let's look at the material. Looks like it is, it is very, very much gray. I can't tell, does it have a pattern on it? Can anybody tell if there's a pattern? I mean, it doesn't look shiny, but it does look like there is a, a texture of some kind, so. <laughs> Let's go um, color and a dark gray, kind of like that. It's not made out of concrete or this this plasticky color. So let's change the material. Uh, is it metal? It doesn't look metal. I can't really tell. I cannot tell what material that is. Um, 
Let's just tell you what. Let's just go with a pla no plastic doesn't work. Is there a smooth plastic? Smooth plastic. Okay. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna make a smooth plastic just like that, and then um, I'm going to hit Control D and duplicate. Now let's switch this back to one. We're gonna be switching between those two. I'm gonna move this up one, like that. And then I'm going to switch this back to 0.2. And scale one, two, just like that. Now, is it one high? Yeah. If we look, the first one is one unit high, but that second one is only half the unit high. So, um, let's see. Is it actually half or is it just above half? It looks like it may be just above the halfway mark. So let's go back to the point two and we're gonna go down one, two, just like that. And that should be about the same. Perfect. <clears throat> now, I don't think these are anchored. These are not anchored. We're gonna go ahead and anchor these so they don't fall apart on us. And then we're going to group and model these all together at the same time, <coughs> which we'll, we will probably need to weld everything as well. Hmm. Anyhow, grab both of those, hold shift and click the second part, control D. Uh, actually, move this back to the one unit mark, control D. And now we're just going to move this to the opposite side, just like that. <laughs> wow. Almost done, code. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Hold on, what is this? Contract, contract, contract. What's this one? Oh, it's up there. Why is it not with the rest? Hmm. So let's go ahead and group these real quick as a model. Control G to group them as a model. And we're gonna call this Conveyor, Con convey, Con conveyor, conveyor, conveyor. Huh. Hold on. C O N V E Y O R. C O N V E Y O R. And we can actually call this the straight conveyor, just like that. So the straight conveyor is now a model. Whee! We can move that model around and do all kinds of cool stuff with it, but it doesn't look like a conveyor yet. What are we missing? We are missing cancel these right here in the middle. And how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight of these. It looks like there's two per unit. So if we look at the units here, right, two per unit. So two, four, six, eight. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and add a part cylinder, just like that. And we're going to bring this down. Oh, we're still moving by ones, aren't we? Hold on. We're going to have to get this the same height. All right. <clears throat> now let's move by 0.2 go to scale one two three and then scale it out like that and it looks like a like a light gray the material we're going to leave a smooth plastic but we're going to go with this light gray color it's close it's really close I can't tell if that's exact or not doesn't really matter, I guess, right? Uh, where does it appear on the conveyor itself? It looks like it's even with the top. So let's go move. That does not work. That does not compute. Oh, uh, scales off. Hold on. Do do do. Now we can move just like that. So that is now even. No, we're not we're not touching on this side. So switch over 
scale that out. Perfect. Just like that. And because we went five, we should be able to go move duplicate one, two, three. And that should be one unit. Uh, that doesn't sound right. All right, let's try. Let's try this. Shift D. No, Control D, and we're going to move by ones. And oh yeah, they're uneven. Mm, poop. Control Z. Z. Uh, Z to unduplicate. There we go. Let's go ahead and destroy this. Put this back out. Scale. One and one down. Whoa! What 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 happened? What happened then? Uh oh. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. <clears throat> Got to change this back to point two. Uh, do, do, do. That's three. And then one, two, three. So this is on a one by one scale. We're gonna have to split this into fourths. I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna have to split it into six. So it would be 0 0.33, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, I think. 0 0.33333. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Okay, Google, what is one divided by six? The answer is approximately 0 0.167. There we go, okay. I don't know if we can get down to that scale. 0.167. Might be able to get down to that scale. Let's go one this direction. Uh, and we're going to need to go one, two, three, four. That might be too small. That is too small. Oh, man. <clears throat> okay, let me change this back. Point two. I mean, it's even up there at the top. That looks like it's going to be too thin. Way too thin. So, okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. There's two of these per unit. And they're evenly spaced. But they have a gap on either side. On this side, there's like half of what the middle gap is. Because then when you put a conveyor on this side, it would have that same half gap. <clears throat> the two half gaps would make a hole, and that's why the conveyors are evenly spaced. So, on a scale of one, divided those into two, and there's a half gap on each side, that means there's 10 total. So one divided by 10, which would be point one. So let's hit control Z on these, put that back to one. We're gonna go point 0.1 on this. I'm just gonna go one there. And one, two, three, four, five. There. Maybe. Put this back to point two so we can scale it upwards. And, oops, right there. I think, put this back down to point 0.1, I think I need to go one more this direction. Maybe. Possibly. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't like that it's not quite there at the top. That's about evenly spaced. Uh, the exact measurements are um, position, no, see, size. Size, there we go. 6.4, 0.5, 0.3. Zero zero and I think those are going to be good because if I do um, movements at point Oops, 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 point two, duplicate, move this over one, two, just like that. Let's 
going to be one unit wide. So now, take this, control. Uh, if I go to one unit movements, and I do duplicate, duplicate, uh-oh. <laughs> That's not correct either. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, let's put this back to point 0.1. Whoa, 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 whoa. Point 0.1 movement. We'll go one this direction. Just like that. Oh gosh, that was too far. Come back one. There we go. So <clears throat> the gaps look bigger, don't they? His gaps don't look that big. My gaps look huge. Maybe it's just a sizing thing. Um, let's go back to scale, and let's go one this direction. It's also going to make them rise just a little bit, so I'm going to have to fix those. How's that look? Looks good, but we don't have a gap at the end. It's really close though. Look at that. Really close. Okay, so let's select all of these. Oops, 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 oops. Come here. Select these. Not that. We're going to have to move by 0.1 and just come down just like that. Mm -mm. We're slightly off because there is no gap on this end. Can we make these? Point one smaller. Let's click off of that. Click this one. Do scale. We're at point one. Come up one. There it is. There it is. Okay. Delete these. Oh, that's right on the edge. Okay. So let's go back to moving, control D. Oh, oh. Now I should be able to go to ones, duplicate, 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 and oh man. That's a full gap on this side. Okay, okay. I can do this, I can do this, hold on. We'll just select all of these in the middle, and then we'll go to 0.5. No, 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 0 0.1, 0 0.1, because the scale is smaller. There. Oh no, we're like off. All right, can I move by 0 0.05? Haha, <laughs> there we are. So 0 0.05 gave us half of a movement of the full movement, I think. I think that's how, how to say it. Uh, anyhow, <clears throat> I completely forgot to rename the part. So now we're gonna have to go through and rename all of these. Let's go ahead and just group these for a moment. Wait, 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 wait. Why is these control Z uh, cut? Where is our conveyor belt? Straight conveyor, straight conveyor. There it is. Paste into. There we go. That way. What in the world? We're still moving at like point movements. All right, 
five, divide that, 0.25. I don't know if I can move that small, can I? Yeah, I can, look at that. Mm, come back up one. No, nope, that's too, too far off. One more, straight up, there we go. Nope, that's still not right. <coughs> I trust that. That's good. So now, can we group these while they're in there? Control G. Yeah. We don't have to group them, but I'm just grouping them for the moment. Um, what are those things called? Rollers? So, I'm just gonna call it rollers. F2, roller. Uh, and I can actually copy that and then just name all of these the same. F2, paste, F2, paste, F2. By the way, the shortcut F2 is to rename something. It also works in Windows and it works on files, folders. Anytime you need to rename something, hit F2 and it will rename it. Okay, so whew, that was a lot of work just to get those rollers on there, jeez. The rest of it goes like this code, it's gonna be a long series. How, uh, how far, are we? we're 21 minutes in. So, let's make this little, this little thing right here. Um, it looks like a button. So, I should be able to, okay. oh, and that's plastic too. That is yellow plastic. Um, let's go ahead and, where's that at? Is that like right in the middle, right here? Um, Close down the rollers. We're going to group those into um, tracks. And then I'm going to create uh, insert, insert, insert object, and a part. Part, 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 part. Wait, 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 wait. I can do this. <coughs> insert cylinder. There we go. And do the same thing that we did a second ago. Change the material and what color was this? If we, uh, wait. Why is that? Oh, this one's tracks. This one is rollers. Wow, messed that up. <laughs> As you can see, the process of, of creation and everything. Now, I also know that these are not edited. These are straight up exactly as I'm doing them. And I hope you guys are okay with that. We're going to move this down to 0.5. Uh, right now it's, it is one by one by four, I think. That's its actual size. Uh, let's move this over here. Hit that scale button. And actually, movement is by 0.5, so that should put it right in the middle. Actually, wait, let's see that we're even on the edge. We are not even. Not even Steven at all. Okay, actually, that is even, isn't it? See, right there? That's even, so one, two, three. That's going to be right in the middle. Even puts the arrow above there. And then we are going to go down one, two, like that. Now, how much of a space gap is there? There's like a one tenth space gap right there. So we can put this down to 0.1. We've got the one tenth there. Oops, 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 oops. Scale. Come on. Now, does the bottom touch? The bottom does not touch. It's like a barely space gapped. Barely. And then we can scale this in like that. Uh, that is touching. We need it to not touch. So 
What happens if we move upwards just slightly? Hmm. That looks like it's too much. Am I am I too high off the ground? Let's go to zero five and move down one. Hold shift to get in there close to do tiny work like this. That looks about right. <clears throat> now these on either side are still how big is that? One unit, and I need it to squish this way. So let's go ahead and scale. One, two, oh, oh that is horrible. Control Z. Uh, let's put this back to point one. Uh, no, if I do point five, it'll squish it down exactly half, but I need it in fourths. So, okay, Google, what is one divided by four? I knew that. Quarters. So now we can go one this way and one this way. And it's right there in the middle. Sweet. Put this back to a one scale just for the moment so I don't mess anything else up. Now how wide is that? So this is touching the top run which is one fifth of one and it is half of that. So it's half of one fifth. I think, come on, get off of there. Can I, can I select something else, please? There we go. I think it's close enough. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave it, it's good. Um, so now, let's go ahead and change its color. We wanted that uh, material of concrete. No, uh, smooth plastic and the dark gray, just like that. So now it looks like the rest. Eee. Now, since we're dealing with that scale already, I'm just going to hit uh, Control D and duplicate it. We're going to rename this to Lever. I'm going to change its material to Concrete because that's what it looks like. Actually, it looks more like just regular plastic, doesn't it? And we're going to change its color to like an orange color. Is that the right orange? Might be that. It might be this orange. Uh, it's more of a yellow color. I like that orange. It looks good. Now, in comparison, it looks like it may be one tenth the size. So let's go to point ones. Let's go one. Whoa, that was definitely not it. One tenth, uh, point zero five. Let's go down one, go up one, go in one, and come out one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Control Z. And in one, just like that. So, if we look, it just barely pokes out. So, let's go this way. Just like that. Nice. <laughs> that is so cool. Um, and it looks like that might be one fourth of the size or one third of the size. So let's go ahead and duplicate. We're going to move, just scale this this way. Then we're going to scale. <clears throat> One, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see how tall this thing is. We can use math to our advantage. So X is 0.15, Y is 0.4, Z is 0.4. <coughs> so if we put this down to 0.2 and to 0.2, That looks good. Wow, code, amazing. 
All right, and I'm going to hold shift. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Isn't there like um, smooth, no outline? Yeah. Smooth, no outline, smooth, no outline. There we go. I kind of, I want to do that with all the sides, right? And what that does, and see, see how this edge has like a dark line on it? If you click on both those, it makes it disappear. So you kind of want to do that for all your different surfaces, which I probably should have done that earlier. And in fact, I'm going to do that in a second. Thank you so much for the subscribe. Who, who was that? Hello. Um, <laughs> flaming sword thrower. <laughs> Thank you for the subscribe. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Let's go back over to the model and we're just going to select move control D to duplicate. And watch this. Uh, control Z. I'm going to change its shape from cylinder to block. And then I can do, we're at 0.5. Um, let's do move. No, 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 no. Scale, 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 scale. We'll keep it on scale. Just like that. Um, <clears throat> looks like there's his might be a little bit thinner, so let's go ahead and scale this. Uh, we're at 0. 0.5. Do scale. Oh, 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 wait. Scale. There we go. Come down one. And come up one. Is that too thin? That's too thin. All right, so let's uh, control Z that. Undo, undo. 0. 0.5, we can go to 0. 0.255, right? Here's one and one. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> down one, oh, just one, and go up just one. There we are. Now it's definitely, definitely too thick. So, oh, come here you. I think I went too, too far on that one. No, up, oh, oh. There it is. <laughs> That looks that looks similar. Very good. So now um, this we can actually go this direction just a little bit, so it's not clipping. That looks good. Uh, we'll change this inward like that. One, two, and the actual button itself won't matter. <laughs> Now, for surface, smooth, no outlines. Smooth, no outlines. Just click all over the place. Smooth, 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 smooth. Smooth, 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 smooth. <clears throat> I think our button might be a little bit too big, but that's okay. There you have it. The uh, conveyor belt inside studio. Now, again, I've not covered the um, programming portion of these. Uh, we can stick, um, that's a lever. lever. Okay, so we're going to take and cut all of these. Cut, select this, and paste two. Uh-oh, uh-oh, control Z. Uh, where's our constraints? Collisions, constraints. Hold on. Can we just move these? Can I drag these? There we go. That'll work. Right click. Uh, actually, no, we do want to. We want, we want, we want. We want. Um, lever, base. There we go. Let's 
select all these, control G to group them into a model. And inside here, we're just gonna say um, lever, lever, there we go. So <clears throat> each one of these, uh, let's do select children and we're going to anchor them all, anchor everything. Otherwise it's gonna fall apart. Right click, select children and anchored. Everything's anchored, good, good. And I think all of these were anchored, right? Select children and anchored. Oh, they were not. There we go. Okay, so if I hit F5. Uh, thank you, Tyler Hart, for the, uh, the subscribe. Hey, conveyor belt. That's crazy. <laughs> Oh, it looks so good. It looks really good. <laughs> uh, you can't even can't even tell. Like, hold on. Okay, you can you can definitely tell, but I mean, you can't really tell. <laughs> Ours is shiny, isn't it? Um, that might just be an environment thing. But, anyhow. I think it looks good. I'm happy with it. Uh, in fact, let's do let's do one one last thing. Let's hit stop. Um, with these, uh, can we select all the rollers? Yep, select children. I'm going to give these a velocity uh, of 20. Let's do, let's do 10 on the Z axis, okay? Now, the thing about velocity, if you move this after you've given it velocity, it's going to lose its velocity, it'll, it'll reset to zero. But as long as I haven't moved it, this should work. Uh-oh, didn't work code. Why did not work? Stop. Okay. Cannot write to data store. Oh, access. What? Okay, fine. Let's see. Actually, uh, yep. Velocity is set to 10. Well, which way? Z, I wonder. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's select all these children. And let's set... I guess to make the job easier... We could just set a, a piece on there and make it transparent. And then whenever something, no, because that wouldn't make it real. Because you can have wood. Hold on. Let me show this to you. Um, if I have a piece of wood that is small enough, it will fit between the little gaps. Um, hold on here. You come with me. Come with me. I don't know if this is going to work or not because, how small can I get this thing? I think I might have to use a, okay, so like these right here, this will work. Come on, come on, hurry up, hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, that's taking way too long. I mean, you guys know what I mean, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I think building these to scale... Oh, what happened there? I just noticed that there's a, a different kind of gap here. Huh. It's amazing the different things that you see whenever you start trying to build these things yourself. Oops, 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 oops. What have I got? There we go. Come on. As small as I can get it. And this should. Yep, just like that. So we know there's not a transparent piece here, like doing some weird magic. It, it's the actual conveyor itself that pushes. And each one of these is an angle. Oh, that's gonna be hard to script. 
Well, not really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I keep saying that, like, you guys are like, no, Code, we really don't know what you're talking about. Um, the, the velocity is on the rollers. It's not... Here, let's, uh, let's see if I can't get this to go 90. Is that the same for all of these? 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Hopefully it works. Here, in fact, let's go to... Where's the straight conveyor? There we go. Rollers. Velocity is set to 90. But I think it might be facing the wrong direction. Hold on. If we set all of them to 90, won't it uh, give us an idea of which direction they're all going? Velocity. One of those has got to work. I mean, it doesn't have to work. It could fail. Yep, it failed. Is it because it's part of a group? Or part of a model, maybe? It's definitely letting my feet fall through. Hmm. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. Whoa! Hello. Why is that? What? What? Is that just a bug? What happened there? Well, that's not doing it. Hmm. 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 What happens if we ungroup these? Control Shift G. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Ungroup. There we go. And are our rollers velocity all reset? No. Let's set zero zero. Here we go. Select. These bottom. If you hold shift, you can select multiple things at one time. Select all of those. And we're going to switch the velocity to 90, 0, 0. Let's try that. Maybe I've got my X and Z mixed up. No, it still doesn't work. <laughs> well, I know it works, but okay, here, stop, 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 stop. Let's just do a regular part inside the world so you can see what I'm talking about and and kind of mirror, like we we got to move on cuz there's there we're at 43 minutes <laughs> already. Oh gosh. Okay, so here's just a block. Well, it was a block until I changed its color and stuff. Um let's go down and anchor. And we want to scale like this all the way up like this. And then I'm going to go and change that velocity like we did earlier. Velocity on the X to 20. Okay. So now, if I step on it, uh-oh. It does not like that. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. So up and down, to us right now is X. Where's my orientation? I just realized my orientation's off of there. Oh, it's right there. Okay. So this little thing down here in the corner, if you don't know how to read this, X is now pointing that direction, like into space. We're, we are facing X. See how the Z is to the right? If we turn to the right, we are now facing positive Z. And same thing with Y. If we look up, that is positive Y. So X, Z, Y. If you want negatives, you look the opposite direction. So like X is now behind us. Actually, am I reading that right? Yeah, I am reading that right. X uh, positive behind us, X negative uh, in front of us. Z negative y negative so all right let's go back to this 
And as you can see, these are the X axis. These are the Z axis. So we want to go Z positive. So let's go that direction. Change the velocity from 20 to zero and then 20. So we should be able to step on it and go this direction. Wee. There we are. That works. So that's the idea of what we want to do with these rollers. Let's see if I can't get that figured out. Just real, just real quick. Just real quick. No, I just want one. So it's going to be the Y positive that we want going. Uh, let's go with all of these. Velocity, zero, Y positive. Now it might be because it's part of a group and it's touching other parts, but yeah, we'll get it figured out. <laughs> oh well, there you have it. Can make like recreating the conveyor belt, and we'll work on scripting, like I said later. Right now, I just I'm wanting to replicate and build and make things into the game. So I will group that up and make it into a model. And then, uh, if you didn't see yesterday's video, I did make the axe. And as I'm making these things, I'll place them inside here, kind of like a museum of things that I've done so far. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Let's Build Things or Studio. Roblox. I don't even know what to call it. I still don't have a name. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro.